The snow brought out the kid and a lot of us, for better or worse. Fox News reporter John Rogers is joining us live now with more. Hey there, John. Hi there, Lenise. Yes, me and my photographer, Ricardo Montgomery, we were driving north in search of snow. We approached Axis, Alabama, and we found a church where we saw some adults and children engage in some serious warfare. Yes, look at it. Snow sure is pretty. There's frolicking and laughter while snow coats the ground. The snow can even be transformed to a man-like creature. But don't be fooled. Snow is beautiful, but dangerous. The art of snowball warfare dates back to the early days of human history. It's a very complex, dangerous game which requires very explicit instructions and only a privileged few are able to see it, such as our friends here in South Alabama. Now, before you do need some dense, wet snow for proper package to make a good, nice, round snowball. You have to pack it in real tight, make it a nice shape so that it goes a nice, steep arc so when you go hit your enemy. Just pick up a big lump of snow, uh, ball it together, chunk it at your family or friends. Yes, snowball wards can divide families and give adults the opportunity to attack children. But one important strategy in this aerial assault involves disabling the enemy. Back of the leg. Back of the leg, that's too nice, man. On the, on the neck. Oh, you should try the ears, dude. How does it feel to get a snowball hit in your face? Freezing. <laughs> we witnessed the handling of a prisoner of war. The Geneva Convention would be horrified. These weary soldiers carry the scars of war. They're hurt, but not defeated. Now, guys, during one of the outtakes as I was making that stand up in that story there, I accidentally threw a snowball in my photographer's face. He wasn't too pleased and he threatened to get me back, but he hasn't done that yet and I don't think he's going to. I'm John Rogers, Live Mobile, and I think I'm going to be attacked. Back to you. Yeah, John, you don't know Ricardo very well. He's going to get you back when you least expect it. That's right. <laughs> Being prepared. <laughs>